All right, so this is a detailed flip through of Idlewild and Company's organic studies alongside the word studies. If you get just the organic studies by itself, then this portion of their curriculum is secular. If you want something more uh, scripture based, then you buy the word studies along with the organic studies and you use them both together. So I'll give you a flip through of them side by side so you can kind of see how the two will work together. So. First up though, table of contents for the organic studies. So as you can see, it's a lot being covered throughout this curriculum. It is an A to Z style curriculum. So um, just that part alone makes it easier to use for a wide age range. If you have um, older kids and younger ones in the mix, we have our oldest is eight. And then we have a four to a four year old and a two year old. And then we have a seven month old. So. Of course, the seven month old isn't doing anything, but this makes it easy for me to use with my eight, four and two year olds all together. So some of the units are um, two weeks and she does let you know. And then we have oceans, which is three. And then she also breaks down here um, exactly what topics will be covered in each lesson, which I really love because I don't have to think too much about what exactly uh what questions did we answer in today's lesson or this week's lesson um what points did we hit or anything like that she just has it all generally laid out here and then you have your book list and then here for each unit she lays out all of the books that you're going to need for each unit but then she also has put um a mark next to all the ones that can be found on youtube as read alouds that is very helpful for homeschoolers like myself because i am not shy about using youtube for read alouds and sometimes we even use epic the book reading app for kids for read alouds as well and so that is very helpful i already ran through and marked all the ones that are not found on youtube so as we're approaching those lessons, I know that I need to put those books on hold from the library, snag them for cheap online, or whatever the case may be. And so this is an example of Unit A. So um, you have the core books that you're going to need, the unit books. So these are like the read aloud books you'll read, you'll need. Then you have the supply list, and if there's any prep prep work she lets you know as well um now i needed a hard copy of this because i'm one of those people i like hard copies um however um sometimes it's just more convenient to use the pdf and this may be more convenient uh, for using a pdf version with i'm going to still use a pdf version just because it has a lot of helpful um hyperlinks included throughout the curriculum and so just to make it easier for myself i'll still pull it up from time to time and so for each lesson you'll have the explore together so you're in the core book for that lesson and then it tells you what you'll be discussing and then the read aloud portion the explore together portion and then if i can turn the page it has the art portion um a language arts bit play and letter work for younger kids now for my oldest i do have their art studies curriculum idlewild and company's art studies curriculum for him specifically um but for my four and my two year olds i actually may have them do the art in the lesson here just because i feel like that that would be more their speed and if my oldest wants to chime in with that too and do that he can do it I have no problem with it um so yeah um that's how the lessons are laid out so as you can see it's really simple um i don't unless there's a topic which this is science so <laughs> my kids love learning about um our world and animals and things like that so i can definitely see us diving deep into some of these topics but if I mean, I definitely don't think that these lessons will take up a great deal of time. And so just to give you a good overview. Now, how we use this with the word study. So, for instance, in lesson one, 
we are learning about amphibians, A for amphibians. And so you do this portion, you do the organic studies um, lesson. Then you hop over to the word studies, unit A, amphibians. And then it tells you the truths that you're gonna be discussing that week. And then if you need any, um, if you need to prepare anything, it'll be listed here. I love how clear things are laid out here. Um, it's not like too wordy, it's not above their heads, but it is still scripture, um, which is something that I try to pay attention to when I'm using resources that tie scripture in. Is it still like scripture tied into it, not just uh, a summarization or whatever? Um, so yeah, they have that and then you have a discussion point. And one thing I wanna point out, you see the bearing testimony bit here. I really like that because I, number one, have never seen that before in any um, Bible-based curriculum. And two, I like it because it is um, pretty much highlighting how important it is to tie in our own testimonies for our kids as we disciple them and as we continue to teach them about God's word and um, the world that he has created for us. And so I love that that has been included in this. Just so you can see how the two mirror one another, I will post the table of contents side by side. So A to Z, and then again, A to Z. I do have a discount code, um, Jasmine10, which I will leave posted here on the screen and in the description box for you. So if you're interested in purchasing this curriculum or trying it out, trying it out then you can save a little um, on your purchase. Um, as far as flip through, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, then please hit that red subscribe button and the thumbs up. Have a great rest of the day.